Good afternoon. It's November the 21st, 2016, and we're into our holiday week, and it generally slows things down. Uh, right now, you can see uh, with an hour of trading left to go, we've got uh, 937,000 contracts have traded in the e mini. Not a lot. And you can see that the market has been a very, very slow moving market. There has been very, very a uh, few uh, trades as per our setups. Uh, this trade does not trigger. Uh, this trade does trigger for maybe a point. Uh, we're above the blue line. Uh, this trade scratch. This trade uh, did work out for a couple, two to three. Uh, the trade we took in the room right here and we said um, in the sending triangle or pennant or flag uh, if you could hold on to it, the trade of the day, we expected the market to go higher. I took myself out a tick inside of this bar's high, right there on that bar. And then you can see the market didn't do anything for an hour and a half. Throughout the updates, we did say the market was still going to trade higher. Hold on if you can. And I do expect 2200 to be busted. But uh, E-mini is very, very difficult to trade because of the lack of volatility. Now, uh, the best chart and time frame to trade the E-mini on now is the 10 minutes. Uh, that, that makes you money because you have trade location. Okay, looking at the F1 screen uh, right here, would be the correct split. Higher low, higher high. Market is trading higher. This one says find a place to buy it. Looking at the F2 screen, definitely looking at P's. Uh, double distributions up. So uh, again, the trade is going to be self failure to take out 95, 97. And then 99 to 01 will be sell two. Quite often the market goes up to three and a half when it takes out these major market numbers. Get every stop that's out there. On the buy side, the breakout came from 87.50. Uh, so the um, you know, we're at 92.75. So buying the 88 to 90 area. Buy one. 85, 87, buy two. So we're trying to buy 85s to 90s and sell failure to take out 95 to the buck. Uh, tomorrow's news is existing home sales. I'm looking for 5.42 million. The big news comes on Wednesday durable orders, X transportation. So uh, I think gradually higher in the E mini. Okay, tomorrow's the five-year auction in the Treasury complex, and Wednesday will bring the uh, seven-year auction. The five-year auction, if we're going to have a weak one on paper, that's the intermediate term, would be the one that you'd expect. Uh, inside day, now went below the other one by a tick, so uh, still trying to trade lower uh, based on the strength in the E-mini. So we got a pretty clean break in the market at 25, 28. This screen says find a place to sell it. That would fit with a five-year auction. Uh, this is countered screen, which is clearly a B with volume high in it. So uh, we're going to play uh, 13 to 17 by one, five to nine by two. On the uh, sell side, uh, 23, 27, sell one, 31, 03, sell two. And we'll see how that works out. Don't you hate it when I say that? What do you mean, how it works out? Aren't you supposed to know whether you want to be long or short and where to do it, Charles? Come on. You're not giving me any confidence. That is, you know, you just have, I'm just trying to get you, you know, let's see how it works out. Let's take a shot. See what's happening. I know, but what if we're wrong? What if you are wrong? Is it really the end of the world? Higher low, higher high on the F1, barely. Uh, so it looks like uh, we have some support below 1210, and we definitely have sellers above 1230 on the F1 screen in gold. Looking at the F2 screen. Uh, strangely enough, it's a P put in backwards. Uh, we didn't break the market much to the downside. Didn't have a lot of range to work with, so 
Uh, we're selling 15s to 17s, sell one. Then 20s to 22, sell two. On the buy side, um, 8 to 10. 4 to 6. Looking at the 30 year, don't want to forget my favorite contract. Crude's really close though. Crude's uh, neat because it's, it happens quickly. Sometimes it doesn't happen too quickly in the treasuries, but uh, pretty square. Volumes above time. TPOs are B. Uh, volumes above time, so we can we'll just play it for a trading range. Um, a support is four to eight. So we'll make buy one twenty nine to one, and then buy two seventeen to twenty one. On the resistance side, where we were this morning, 20 to 24, so selling 27s to 31s. And then 7 to 11 if we have to break it out to the upside. I don't know if we can. Yeah, crude oil. Uh, I think we're traded higher. We got this pretty clean break up here. Um, it's like 4875 to 49. We get above that, then basically 50 bucks. So 4875. Uh, this market definitely says find a place to buy it. Again, I don't think OPEC is, I think they're going to try for a deal right now. Several people, big names, think they're going to get it. Uh, if they don't get it, you're looking at crude back in the low 40s, maybe a little bit lower than that. I, I think the low probably is in, though. So right here we got a pretty clean break in the market, say 47.90. Got a low volume number at 48.54, so... I think we are going to trade higher, 48, 75, 49. Obviously, we got to get through 50. So I'll put a question mark right there. Sell one. I think we're going higher. And 49 and a quarter, 49.50. Sell two. On the buy side, uh, 47.75, 48. Buy one. And we might have to pay up. It may take a quarter to get in. Uh, if the buying continues in London. When the London Open rolls around, it's going to be hard to get in where we want to. Then 47 and a quarter, 47.50 for buy two. So everybody will be watching to see what kind of technical committee is meeting right now, what type of comments come out of the technical committee. And again, they could put something out negative on Iran and Iraq, try to get them to move. Uh, on the euro higher low, higher high, can trade higher. Uh, Draghi came out and didn't allude any to their December announcement. Um, said he thought that the uh, problems were contained, but they were ready and prepared to move and do anything and everything to keep things going. So this is that moved pause move that we talked about. So Draghi's in a pause trying to keep it uh, calm 
and interest rates stable without, without having to spend any more money. A okay, very clean break up here in the uh, 106.60 to 65 area. Last rotate up stopped at 69. We have this spill over here at 80. So 60 to 80 is where resistance is. We have this high here at 59. Then we had the overnight high at 57. And perhaps a new distribution down in E period. So 40 to 50 is sell 1. Uh, 65 to 75 is sell 2. On the buy side, um, 106 even, 106.10 by 1. 575 by 2. That would allow them to get stops beneath this number and bring it back. That's it for this November the 21st. Man, time flies. See you bright and early in the morning. We'll kick it off again and see if we can't shake that money tree one more time. Y'all have a great evening. I'm out of here.